This is a journey into vlog. Hey, I'm walking here. All right, hey, welcome to Big Waves Walk and Talk here from round six at Riverglade here in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick. Man, fantastic day here. Uh, let me start off by saying we are now brought to you by Racetech. Racetech, where you can get factory level su support at uh, locally here in Canada at your local Racetech technician. So uh, we'll put a list of where you can actually find uh, your Racetech dealers uh, in the description here. So uh, check that out. But All right, so round six, Canadian Triple Crown, Motocross Nationals. Um, man, we we're always happy to come out here to uh, Moncton, New Brunswick. People are great. Crowd was huge. Um, yeah, weather, uh, it was funny because it was, it was not a cloud in the sky in Moncton. We drove to the track and it was kind of socked in with some uh, some fog or something, right? So actually kept the moisture in the track, looked really good early. Uh, actually, everybody I spoke to on the track crew was like pumped because uh, they knew that meant we were gonna have the dusting control, be able to get the track, some good lines in it and everything. So they're actually pretty pumped. A little bit later in the day as the uh, pro class started, uh, the sun came through and it got really hot. Some people will talk about that, uh, of course, as we, uh, as we interviewed them, talked about how warm it was. But uh, kind of the big news of the day is this right here. full-on cement start pad, not only behind the gate, but in front of it. Uh, so it kind of took some uh, riders by surprise, including Dylan Wright, who actually uh, said it was a little bit of a curveball to him. So uh, he didn't, uh, he did not nail his start. So uh, yeah, that's, uh, he had to kind of fight through the pack a little bit, make some passes to get up front. Uh, he didn't start up front in either moto. But uh, yeah, the day also started with a bit of a delay. Uh, There's a bit of a, way back over there at around uh, one, two, three, around corner four, there was a bit of a, bit of a hole and a tractor got stuck in it so if you're watching and wondering why ah, they probably showed it but if you're wondering why we started a little bit late that was the reason uh there are some interesting stories some gossip some uh, some things that happened today that we'll get to in the 450 class but uh first of all we'll talk about uh, the 250 class man uh a 1331 for the uh, for the overall that gives uh, mitchell harrison took the overall i'm walking over here i gotta you know i want to talk to i want to i'm gonna kind of jump i'm interrupting myself just because this guy was in a battle with one of our uh Andy, yep, Andy, we're talking about him. We're gonna walk up to him. Andy, we're coming in. That means you get away from, not have to do work for a minute. We got to, Andy Trucher, man, he held off one of our working class heroes uh, right to the very end in that second. We're talking about Parker Eels, man. Talk about your day. You had uh, some good battles on your hands. Yeah, well, I, I I had a good start in the first moto, but uh, I think that kind of messed me up. That kind of like, like it pumped up my arms. I was like, kind of blowing myself up. Uh, so that moto was actually really bad, and uh, I couldn't get my rhythm oh, anymore. Wait, you, you started at the front. I started, yeah, I was like first in, in that first <laughs> lap, but I had a little tip over. Uh, but anyway, no, like second race was a little bit better. I just tried to find my pace. Uh, but anyway, like I know Parker, like he's a good guy, but I know for myself that I'm, I'm not supposed to battle with him. I'm supposed to battle with. Um, Which Parker, the guy are you who, hearing? Are you hearing this, Parker? I, I know the Parker's a great guy. <laughs> but I want to be up there with Tyler Gibbs, and I want to be up there with with Benick. Uh, Elmore is kind of like a little step ahead right now, but kind of going for six, seven right now. And so I'm I'm just not happy with my results. I think Parker wrote really well, really well. He was maybe a smidge faster than me right there in that second moto. Was happy to hold him off, but it was not my day. Let's say it like that. Uh, your wife just about uh, fell right in the background of our shot there, by the way, so you'll, you'll see it later. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, anyway, congrats. Yeah. We also don't have uh, Lars Van Berkel, so we got to grab these people from Europe as much as we can here. So we, yeah. thanks for chatting. Just, you still having fun? What? Just what I got to get it out there. Like, I have another Dutch guy. He's faster than Lars, uh -oh. and he wants to come over. Ooh. Just bring it out there for the other teams. Okay, okay. Like, uh, this year? Uh, no, he wants to come over, but like maybe the teams want to, if they want to have a top three guy. Throw a name, throw a name out there. Uh, it's Misha Boy the Wall. Okay, so okay. So you can look him up. All right, buddy. Hey, well, congrats. Thank you. Good race. We'll see you, man. See you guys. All right, yeah. Like, uh oh, see, they had to see, we took them away from their work. But look, look at all the people we stopped. Look at all the people we stopped from doing what they were supposed to do. Sorry, everybody. It's not looking. There's Quinn Amiot up on top of the roof there. He had a very solid day. Good for Quinn. Okay, yeah, so uh, speaking of that, Quinn, uh, if we go back to the 250 class, Quinn Amiot ended up fourth with four fives. So he was uh, ended up kind of on his own a little bit, but uh, man, he rode, uh, rode really well, looked really good. Obviously, I say that because of his finger, right, coming back. He says the, uh, the dead skin has not come off yet, so he's still got that, uh, that sort of hanging on still. So good for him in that. Uh, what do we got? Let's... Uh, I want to talk about, we have to talk about Dylan Rempel, unfortunately, went out for the sight lap on the first uh, first moto, 
and all of a sudden right behind me the bike stopped on him so they uh did what they could did a two minute hold for him the guys were nice actually mechanic for a different team went over there and did the hold for him so that was actually really nice of them to do that uh turns out it was a battery issue so they uh yeah, bike didn't go, so unfortunately you had a DNS in the first moto. Came back, uh, looked a lot better for a 10th in that second moto, so good for him in that. Um, also need to talk about Kevin Benoit. Kevin Benoit was up pretty high in the first moto. In fact, he was right up there with the leaders. Look at this guy. <laughs> uh, he was right there with the leaders. He, he fell, and as you know from last week, he was in an awful lot of pain this week. Still went for it, and it's a high-speed rutted track, a lot of head shake. You really need to have control of the handlebars, which he didn't. He said he was really kind of struggling. Then he crashed, and oh, we're going to go bug her too. But uh, yeah, he crashed and ended up not going up for the second moto. So he went 9 DNS uh, for a 16th. And now let's see. We don't. We haven't come over and bothered her. Let's just, she had a great race in the second moto. we got to talk to this girl. Are you ready? Uh, look, we got Jamie Astadio. Let's uh, talk about that. Talk about your day here. That looked really good. Uh, it was okay. Uh, first moto was pretty tough. I actually um, didn't go out for qualifying in the morning. Uh, oh, right. The bike, the whole bike thing. <laughs> yeah, I had a bike issue, so didn't go out for qualifying. First moto was my first time out on track, um, which it, it showed. The first couple laps were pretty tough. I just didn't really know what I was doing. I was still figuring out the track. Um, so I didn't ride that well the first moto, but second moto was good, got the whole shot and kind of just rode my own race and let whatever happened behind me happen. So, um, yeah, it was, it was an okay day. It sucks that this year hasn't been going the way it was planned, but it's all right, I guess. I know, I'm not, we're looking for that smile up on this stage. You're not <laughs> smiling as much as we're used to seeing, so uh, we'd like to see yeah. more smiles. Yeah, I definitely am getting like frustrated. Uh, I just feel like, not that I haven't been riding the, like the best that I can because last weekend I, I showed really good speed and times and stuff like that. It's just kind of piecing the races together and uh, getting my first couple laps to be better than they are. <laughs> All right. Well, you looked really good out there in that second. I mean, considering you weren't out there for practice and stuff. Yeah. So, and you know, you know who's doing worse than you but smiling more? How's that for an intro? Is he gonna <laughs> like that or not? And it, I think if he stopped, he spent less time yelling "Hey, Billy!" when he's out there in the race. <laughs> he might, uh, we got uh, we got Logan Light, so let's go let's go talk to him, man. How did you have fun out there? How'd it go? Yeah, I had a blast. I'm just excited to be back with the boys racing. Uh, I've been out. Second moto solid. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean the the whole day was solid for me. I mean I know I crashed at the end, um, but it's all good. I uh, I think I went like 10, 15, Billy. What, what did I get? 10, 15. 10, 15 to 12. Yeah, I was 11th and I crashed on the last lap, but. Man, I've been out for what four months since the Arizona Supercross, so just having fun. I'm out of shape. I'm fat. I've had a lot of ice cream, um, but I'm definitely having. You have ice cream? Yeah, I'm definitely having more fun than anyone else right now because I am just enjoying it. So, yeah, it All is right. what it is. So now we head to Deschambault. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna find some forks from Julian and uh, just keep riding, keep building, and uh, just trying to get back into shape. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you having so much fun out there. And yes, I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> got some funny photos of you, some awesome. video. So you have to send me the fender slap. Oh yeah, fender I got slap. yeah yeah I got a long story about the fender slap. But <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell the camera that right now. I had my uh, new camera go on me today. Oh no! Yeah, so I was so I only had one camera as I was going today. So I'm a little concerned about my video, uh, my recap video quality. I'm worried. Uh, completely different the way you used to do video on DSLR cameras. So and yet when I switched back from video to stills. Yeah, it didn't always, I'm, I'm worried it didn't always go so smoothly. So anyway, great to see Logan Lights having such a good time. And I'm going to go over here and ambush these guys. We did a little interview with Tyler already, but we got a guy over here. He won. The guy won. 3-1, 1-3, tied in points, but uh, this dog's going to bite me. Look at these guys just chilling over here. Mitchell, good race, buddy. Thank you. Not too bad. Talk about how it went, man. Great starts, uh, good battles. The second one was, you talk about, talk about your races. Yeah, I didn't get any starts, so that puts Tyler 5-4 uh, on me uh, in starts this year. So that's a little disappointing. Uh, but first moto... The young calf. The old bull. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know what it is. He's out solving crimes in the mystery machine. <laughs> like, scoot so, in the game. Skip. Hey, like, look how small he is. And he gets a start on concrete. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so yeah, he gets that. Um, road really good the first moto and yeah uh they're faster they passed me uh i got third second moto we made a little change to my bike and the bike was amazing uh didn't get to start again and um won and all the way i was actually quite surprised once i got past the rider um but it felt amazing that moto 
Hey, what about this, dude? You qualified one and a half seconds faster than second place, which is Ryder, yeah. and a second faster than Dylan Wright. That was cool. Again, <laughs> there's a competition between me and Tyler on fastest lap times, and I'm leading that one this year. So that's cool. And then like just top everybody, that's cool. Like I'm not like, I mean, years previous, I haven't been like the fast qualifier guy. So this year's been good. I think I've got it like four times, I think. So I, that's cool. Nice man. Well, our uh, our top few guys had some good battles. I mean, Josiah looked great in that first one. You kind of, you guys kind of, you know, left him a little bit in that second one. But uh, yeah, man, great ride today. Thank you. I really appreciate. It. Yeah, and they're just, everybody was riding really great, and I had to step it up. So it was uh, track was awesome. All right, man. Thanks for the chat. See ya. We're calling this almost his home race now. Yeah. Almost his home race. He's pretty much a uh, Truro guy now. But uh, yeah, no, he looked really good out there. Uh, like I say, he got by. In a second moto, he made the pass on uh, Ryder McNabb and actually pulled away on him. I mean, I thought at first it was because of uh, lap traffic and stuff, but but uh, no, he, he ended up uh, pulling away, making some good time. And like I say, he was a minute, or a minute, a second and a half fastest in qualifying. I mean, that's pretty crazy. And like I mentioned, also a second faster than Dylan Wright in the 450 class. And Dylan was the fastest in the 450 class. So uh, yeah, we're still in the 250 class. So I mentioned Kevin Benoit, so he's uh, just talking to, to the guys over there and I uh, just kind of mentioned what, uh, what was going on with him. So that was a little tough deal for him. So hopefully with the week off, he'll, uh, he'll be all set for his home race in uh, Deschambeau. I'd like to walk back there, but I also want to get into the, in kind of the amateur pit area, but I'm going to go over here and see who we've got in the uh, the retro FXR gear from the MX-101 guys, because they uh, they look pretty stellar. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm going to come over. Oh, here's, look at that, they're running, they're running. He's running. He is running. He's going to climb in the key. He's climbing in the key. He's, he's, He's climbing into the thing. <laughs> this is... Sean, people love it when you get on here. They love your they love your interviews. Uh, Sean, you're back, buddy. Uh, you're back, and you're wearing some of your uh, some flashy retro gear. Talk about how it went, man. How are you feeling out there? People love my interviews. Is that actually true? Yeah, no, it's true. I... Oh yeah, the mail-ins. We get so many mail-ins. A lot of mail-ins. Yeah, a lot of mails. A lot of, ma a lot of mail. People still mail. <laughs> That's a, it's a joke. I, I, I grew up on Letterman. I mean, I, sorry, it's a viewer yeah, mail comes in. You're very, you age yourself a lot around here. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Serious question. I didn't really have one. I want you. I want to know. Uh, you're out there. I mean, obviously, you're not 100. Yeah. percent uh, You're coming back off a concussion and everything. You got out there in that second mode. You kind of. Uh, it was hot, and you kind of got in a spot where uh, I, I guess you had a really good battle with uh, Benick and Elmore for a while. You ended up kind of moving ahead. How are you feeling? Pretty good, honestly. I borderline didn't come this weekend, so um, I kind of told myself I'm gonna race my own race, and whatever comes of that, you know, it is what it is. So I was pretty prepared to be 10th or 15th, or you know. And after practice and qualifying, I was like, okay, we got some decent pace today. So the, the only way you'd be 10th, you wouldn't be 10th. I mean, you would you literally don't know that. I do know that. I mean, if you're on a bike, you're not gonna be 10th. <laughs> Well, I didn't, I honestly, I didn't really know how I was going to feel. I literally rode in a parking lot this week because um, <laughs> Santa Lee was underwater. So I literally rode in a parking lot this week and that was about all I had. I mean, I, I was doing, everything's fine. Hang on, it's, it's going sideways, just how we like it. Thank you. Your fly's also down. <laughs> oh. okay, I'll get that. Both so. There you go. Getting some foot pegs here for the week. <laughs> no, honestly, I was, I was happy with the day and i just i completely left my ego aside and just rode my own race and uh and honestly the first moto i was super surprised i was like okay they're actually not pulling away from me and i had this like debate in my head i'm like do i try to push it do i go for it and i was like nope I'm just gonna stick to my plan and ride my own race and and just let the progression of healing for me continue well, how, how is it? Okay, tell, tell us. Okay, your heart rate goes up. It's hot out there, especially in that second motor. Really, heat came up. Were you okay? Was your head pounding? Are you seeing stars? How were you? No, honestly, all that side of things. Like I had done a treadmill concussion test oh, during okay. the week, and I, and I prepared myself pretty good. Um, and I, I don't really have headaches or anything. It's just my vision. My vision is still not great, so everything's coming at me a little bit faster. Um, it's, it, it's improving every day. I wake up, it, I, it's a drastic improvement. So. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this point, and, and I know that um, I can ride within my own limits and, and be sensible about it, and that's kind of what I did today. All right, hey, congratulations. Thanks, everyone. Oh, what's coming? More stuff coming at you from Donk. Thanks, buddy. See you next week. Uh, yeah, so that's good to hear. 
Uh, yeah, obviously coming off that, uh, that bad crash there at Gopher Dunes, missed last week, but uh, he's back. And now I'm over in this over in this area here because there's some some stuff went down over here that uh, is number 22 over here. Where's he gone? He's gone too. Okay, so we're in the uh, the Walton Seven Kawasaki team here. Um, I know there was uh, some stuff. Uh, I was waiting for the second 450 motor to start, and someone came over and said uh, there won't be a number 20 on the on the gate. But uh, watch the new graphics on the number 22 bike. So Tyler Gibbs is in, and number 22 Jeremy Mackay is out. Um, this gentleman right here knows knew all about it, but I, I don't want to make it. Uh, well, the story will come out. Um, I'm going to stick my head in here and just see. Make sure no, he's not in there. Okay. So uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, there was an issue. There was some uh, a brouhaha, uh, and yeah. So Jer uh, sorry, uh, Tyler Gibbs is now in on the uh, Walton Kawasaki 17 and did very well. He gets great starts. Uh, he ended up kind of by himself in one of them. Let's see what I've got here. He uh, ended up 7-7 uh, seven, seven for 7. So Tyler Gibbs, number 22 with the Walton 7 Kawasaki graphics on his bike. So that's cool. Cool opportunity for him. Um, and I'm not sure what that means for Jeremy Mackay for uh, next week at his home race at Deschambault. But uh, again, I wasn't there. It's all second-hand information that I saw, so I don't want to say too much. But uh, bottom line is, uh, <laughs> bottom line is he won't be on the team going forward. So, uh, so there's that. There's Kibby over there. But uh, now I think I better go this way. So 250 class again. Let me get back to that. This is uh, this is big waves walk and talk. And through there's Dylan Wright talking to the talking to the crew. I, you know what? I should go over and talk. I should go. We got to go blast in here to the crew because we got uh, some of the heavy hitters from Riverglade over here. I'm gonna stand. What I'll do is I'll stand awkwardly in the background. I'm gonna stand awkwardly in the background. <laughs> These guys all chat. Billy, get out! Billy, are you are you vlogging again? I'm vlogging, baby. Vlogging. Big waves walking. Vlog talk. life. Brought to you by Race Tech. <laughs> yeah. Brought to you by Sponsors. SSS Suspension. Sponsors. <laughs> hey, uh, who? who yeah, what? Hang on. Hey, yeah, yes. Look at this. The belt. He's wearing the belt. This is killer. This. This is actually pretty cool, boy. You gotta go. Oh yeah. Do like oh, some impressions. Yeah. No, no. You gotta do it like the the McGregor. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're new school. Right you're new school yeah, than me. That's awesome. <laughs> Isn't that killer? Is that cool. is killer. You guys always do cool stuff here. Yeah, well, the one. Thank, thank you. The, the yeah. Metal one hey, I need a shirt. I need a. I need an Earl's Tavern shirt for goodness sake. Oh, we have any left? I'm not sure. I'll just check it. I know we got. <laughs> I thought I'm on camera just to make it so. <laughs> oh, here you go. Right, you want to get a picture of I know they've only got crop tops. <laughs> Dylan, can I ask you quickly to talk about that day out there, man? Because you didn't get the starts. You had the surprise, uh, the surprise cement starts. These guys will. Uh, they kept the secret. Yeah, on your it was a curveball midweek, huh? These guys decided for a concrete start for us, yeah, knowing, that, knowing that I'm not good. We're gonna all. screw him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> we we're hoping for an East Coaster. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a good day. We did everything we could, but <laughs> <laughs> these guys. Yeah. Okay. So quickly. So you didn't get the starts. You had to make passes. Uh, you. They just took you a while to get around, but then once you did, you kind of made some uh, made some moves and uh, kind of moved out. Yeah, I was trying to use my brain today a little bit more than usual. Uh, just be patient. Um, this track, you kind of got to let it come to you. If you start overriding it, you end up going backwards. So, uh, yeah, I was just trying to be smart, use my head and be patient and kind of, you know, let the track come to me instead of trying to override it, um, which is normally what I would do. So, uh, yeah, it was a good day in the office. I was a little skeptical about the track prep this morning, but in the second moto, it was actually really good. So hats off to the crew, even though they're right here. Hats off to the crew. You, know? you seen the looks on their faces. Yeah. You should have seen the looks on their faces when you were saying, where did hey, you but, go? Hey, but second moto, track was primo. primo. No oh, dust. Okay. It was meant. I, they know what they're doing. What can I say? Well, there you, well now we got, we've got some of these guys, some legendary guys from the East. Guys, talk about, was this? It looked like a huge success. Track looked great. Crowd big crowds. How was it? Here? Who, wants, who wants to answer? It was our probably one of our, our best national yet. I mean, it's close to some of a couple of the others in the past, but it's our best national yet. What can I say? Amazing. You second that over here, boys? No, it was great. It was a great, great weekend. A lot of fun and uh, brings the community together. It, you know, it's, this is about community. Atlanta, Canada. Atlanta, Canada motocross. It is so great to have everybody out and all the all the people in the Maritimes and 
all land in Canada, Newfoundland here. People come home for this and be a part of it. It makes it all worthwhile. Awesome, nice. Uh, normally we do like an interview up in the little stands over there, but this, yeah. this is going to count. I got my little GoPro going here and we're doing the old walk and talk. But uh, Dave, how about you? How, what, what were you doing? Cement here? start wasn't my idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the belts were, maybe a few track changes. I am not a fan of cement starts, but uh, some other people might not be as well. You can edit that out, right? <laughs> oh, there's no, oh, there's, there will be no editing. No editing, go. No. You know what the good part about a cement start is? Very easy to maintain them. Yes. Well, why do you think they did it? <laughs> See, they're smart. <laughs> Especially the clay we got to deal with around yeah. here. So. All right, guys. Great, right. great venue. Great, uh, great event. Uh, congrats, guys. And we'll uh, see you next Thank year. Thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Okay, who's got a camera? Yeah, all right. Now I got to get to... Uh, yeah, yeah. Now I got to cut through here somewhere. Where do I cut through to get over to talk to these other, other folks here? But uh, let's talk about uh, some other guys here. Um, Tanner War. Tanner War, another, uh, another tough one there. Um, he was out front in the first one for a while. It didn't finish. Unfortunately, didn't finish that one. Uh, I was told, I think if you say electrical on that one, or is that that one? Ah, anyway, Tanner Ward didn't finish that. Came out in the second one, got up front, near the front again. Uh, he was up in fourth place. Bike started smoking, so it was uh, a little bit uh, nail-biting times. He, uh, obviously, he was getting the signs from his, uh, from his mechanic there in the in mechanics. Oh, no! What local guy with a with a bum wing? What happened here? Uh, I'd be alright. I crashed in uh, qualifier. Is it just a sympathy or you're hurt? Hurt. <laughs> we talked. We talked about this. We were talking beforehand. Now, now, what does it mean? You got to get checked out or what? No, I did. I'll be alright. Oh, yeah. Just muscles. Muscles are all pulled. All right. All right. All right. That was. Uh... Hey, you had a. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I'm just, this is what we do. We just kind of ambush guys. You were in some good battles in the second man there. Yeah, in the second run. Me and uh, Brett were going back and forth. I don't know, good moto. I, uh, were you responsible for his fat lip? No, I was not. He got that in like the fifth lap, he said. So <laughs> yeah, I uh, caught up to him and then got around him and me and him just were like right neck and neck the whole moto. And he got me the last lap. He wanted it more, I guess, but Good, it was a good weekend. All right, now aside from people leaving the, uh, the, the continent, you're about from as far away as you can get. Uh, how's it been, the summer been good? It's been good. Um, about halfway through the year, or a few rounds back, I decided to switch to the 450. A little bit less cost, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing yeah, it know. on my own, it's a little pricey. So I, uh, I went up to the 450 class and been loving it ever since. I don't know, a little bit more power, it's, it's a lot nicer. Nice, man, all right, yeah. hey. That's Tanner Merrick from out in, uh, where, what do we call Dawson Creek, BC, for goodness sake. He went 17-13 uh, for, for 15th overall. So, uh, yeah, good to see good to see these guys from all the way out in BC. Now, I mentioned to uh, Brett Young, he did win the Brian House Award for a very solid, solid day here. We'll kind of walk through, we're just going to kind of head through the, uh, I don't want to say amateur pits. There's, what do we got to get here? I want to find him. We're just going to walk through. So, anyway, yeah, so I mentioned... Um, Tanner Ward, tough boy. If you watch the uh, the videos, I mean, if you watched it live on Ride TV, that's one thing. If you saw it, I'll uh, certainly be talking about it um, in the recap that we'll have up on probably on Tuesday. That'll go up. But uh, yeah, he made it through, and I'm sure they're telling him to kind of you know nurse the bike. But boy, he was uh, he was still going full speed. If you ask me, he was uh, he was hauling. Uh, ended up taking fourth in that one, so he ended up 12th. So again, a, a tough one for him. He's had a little string of some tough uh, tough finishes, but uh, yeah, anyway, showed he had the speed. Um, yeah, I want to talk. Devin Smith was in some good battles. See the number 48. Good for him. He ended up uh, 10th, breaking that top 10. And uh... hey, oh boy, look. Okay, we. I was talking earlier. I didn't even know he had a sister. He's got a little sister. She's nine years old. She got good style. She went down hard. Her bike got stuck in another bike. I, oh boy, is she all right? Well, she's just running to get back to her bike. She has the right attitude. Let's introduce you to Hannah May. Hannah May. <laughs> What number? What number? 26. Number 26. How, how's it going? You're here with Tristan Dares, your older brother. Yep. How was your weekend? Good. <laughs> okay, okay. It was a surprise when the bike just rolled off with another dirt bike. Yeah, you looked up and there it goes. <laughs> yep. Heading down, stuck to another bike. Surprise. <laughs> all right. You love this sport? Yep. All right. I hear you might be good. He's got all kinds of plans for you. 85 next year. Then you get three years on that. And then boom, right to 125. <laughs> next year. Right after the 125, 125 is all about your clutch control, throttle control, body positioning. Boom, 250s, right into WMX. And then, you know, most wins ever in WMX history. Like I'm talking 15 time champion. There you go, 15 then, time. 
and then you retire and then run three race teams at once, being the only person ever to do that. <laughs> and then you start a company, become a millionaire, have really good kids, and then send them to my training schools. And then they also become well, champions. There you go, and it's done. Everybody's happy. So I'll make a note of that. All right, well, hey, you look great out there. Good to see you, nice to meet you. Good to see you there, Tristan. See you, see you next you week. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Tristan Dare's little, little sister. Hannah Main is her name. Hey, guys. We're, uh, I'm really trying to get over here to find Brett Young. If he's all the way over there, I'm not going to make it. Maybe yes, somebody has to come this way. But yeah, so that's funny. We were talking about that. Uh, like I say, her bike got stuck with another bike out there in the uh, yesterday, and I found out that uh, she's Tristan Dare's younger, younger sister. Um, Noah Viney, actually, he went, uh, what did he finish? 8-8 eight, eight for a 7th. He's on his way now to, I think, Oklahoma, do some training, and he's going to go to Loretta's. So we won't see him at, uh, we won't see him next week at uh, Deschambeau. Oh, I see someone we need to speak with. She's up there loading up. She's almost got it loaded, but we're going to go bug her. Can we come bug you? <laughs> All right, we got a 3W over here. Kaylee Kerr. Hey, hop on down here. Oh, they're okay, right on the tailgate. We're going to tailgate. We do another thing called tailgating, too. But, uh, Kaylee, you looked really good, and I kind of got the sense that I know you're on our uh, ISDE team. I think you're like, you like the ruts, you like this kind of track. How'd it go for you? Yeah, I, I really enjoyed being back on the hard pack, finally, after being on the sand. So I felt really comfortable this week, and the track was super fun and fast. So. Nice. Talk about how'd your races go. I know that you're in some battles. You were kind of by yourself in the second one, I think, or how'd it go? Uh, yeah, uh, the first moto... I kind of came out in fourth place and just rode fourth place the whole moto just by myself there. And then the second moto, uh, Evan Avery went down and crashed, so I almost went into the back of them. And then I was in second place there for a while battling with Avery. And then um, they kind of gapped me a little bit and just rode fourth place again and finished off the day for fourth overall. Nice. Well, good for you. What are you going to do? Uh, what do you guys do this week? You guys going to do some sightseeing or what are you going to do? Uh, we're just going to head straight to Deschambeau oh. and go practice for a couple days and then race throughout the week. Okay. Well, hey, nice yeah. talking with you. Uh, congrats. You're looking good out there. We'll see you in Deschambeau. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, all business. I thought she'd be saying, oh, we're going to hit the Cabot Trail. We're going to go. <laughs> They're all business. They're heading to uh, Deschambeau, going to hit the track, going to do some riding. So that's, uh, that was Kaylee Kayer. So good for her, man. Looking good. Like I say, she'll be on her ISDE team. Um, Austin Jones, Tuesday. Austin showed, uh, I think he fell in the second one. He was up there pretty good. He's in some good battles and stuff. But uh, I think he went down, ended up, uh, he ended up eighth. Tanner Scott was in some really good battles with Noah Viney. We just mentioned him a second ago. He went 13-7, uh, so a really strong second moto there uh, for Tanner Scott. Ended up ninth. And uh, Sam Gaynor moving up to sixth place. Man, what a uh, man! One-one in the uh, premix, and then he goes out and uh, man, he's right up in the front in the 250 Pro class, well Pro Am class technically. So uh, good for him on that. And uh, yeah, so he ended up going 6-9. Uh, he was up in up higher than that, but he actually there he is. Look at this guy. Wait till you. We were just talking about him, and uh, Tanner Merrick said it was not his roost that did this to him. But uh, look at that trophy over there too. We got to go over here close to this trophy. Yeah. All right, we got local. We got local boy here. He's a full-time worker. Now he's uh, here. He's he's doing it. He won the uh, the Bryant House Award. Brett Young, talk about your day, buddy. How'd it go? Oh, well, my day went pretty good. Uh, the first moto was uh, probably my, it was my best moto ever at a national. I got uh, I got ninth in the first moto, and uh, I just uh, got a really good start first moto. I tucked in behind Muff there, Muff and Byer, and we uh, we snuck around the inside, and all them guys pushed wide. So me and him snuck up the inside and came out in a pretty good spot. Nice. Now you're in that you're in like the second motor that I can remember because it was the most recent one. Uh, you were in some good battles. You guys went at it the uh, the whole time. Talk about that one, man. How was that? Yeah, the second moto was going pretty good. I was actually feeling better better the second moto. I uh, found a lot of good lines, but I think it might have been third or fourth lap. Uh, right was coming by. And he smoked me with a rock. I'm pretty oh, sure. Dylan did it. Yeah, and uh, so it stunned me for a couple laps. I was gonna pull off. I was pretty dizzy for a couple Your laps, teeth but okay? yeah, teeth are all good. right. She's just she's just swelled up pretty good. But I was gonna pull off, but regroup from that, and then uh, just put my head down again. And I forget his name there, but buddy on the Honda, I think number Tanner Merrick. Yeah, number 54. We oh, win. Oh, number 54. I think. I think that would be uh, Hughes. He's. He's right over here. I can't remember. I can't remember what number, but he was on a Honda. That's yeah, all I know. Yeah, 52 was the Honda. That yeah, was 52. Yeah yeah, 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 52. And uh, we had a battle the whole. Yeah, you did. After halfway, we battled right till the very end, and I ended up getting him on the last lap, so which was good. So, I guess my scores were nine, nine in the first moto and twelve. In the nine, second twelve moto. to break the top ten, man. Tenth. Oh, perfect. There you go. I gotta love and that. He's from He's from Larrytown. He's from Lawrence Town, Surf City over here, man. I've been over there. I've never been in the water, but I've been over there to watch the surfing, man. Do you surf? 
Uh, no, no, I don't surf, but we uh, in Porter's Lake there, not too far from Lawrencetown Beach there, we uh, we wake surf behind the boats there, so okay. it's just like surfing. He's afraid of sharks. Yeah, <laughs> don't want to get eaten by the sharks. <laughs> All right, buddy, well, hey, great ride, and check this out, the Bryan House Memorial Trophy, we got to zoom in on that. Awesome, man. Thanks for chatting. Yeah. Good to see you. Is this yeah. the last we're going to see of you? No, this... I'm going to Quebec. He's coming to Deschambeau, yeah. so watch for the uh, number 79. Perfect. See you, Thank buddy. you. All right, there's a guy I wanted to come over and talk to. Now, uh, in, in the past little while, uh, they've been given the award to Tyler Medallia. But uh, this year, they've uh, they decided uh, someone who's actually kind of born and raised out here, I guess, is the difference. Tyler, Tyler wasn't upset about it. He's more than happy. He's thrilled that Brett uh, that Brett won it. So, so that's pretty cool. But no, good to see Brett Young out here. We don't uh, don't see him very often. We come out here and we always chat with him. So that was that's cool. Um, yeah, we kind of moved up through the ranks there. Uh, Sebastian Racine looks solid again. Uh, second one, he ended up by himself, and I was kind of like, oh, he's you know, he's but it's not nothing's happening. He's just kind of uh, back there. But then he uh, he turned it on, and he actually was closing in to uh, Quinn Amy out there near the end. So he was solid, looked really good. So good for him. He was uh, Sebastian Racine was fifth, five six, moved his way up. Quinn Amy out, as we mentioned, was ahead of him, fourth. Uh, Ryder McNabb two two. Uh, he said he slid out, I think, in that first moto, so he didn't get the start in that one. He uh, slid out, had to make some passes. Looked looked really good, obviously, but uh, didn't get the win because um, Josiah Natsky got out front and got away on that in that one. So uh, he ended up going 2-2, like I say. 2-2 loses to a 3-1 and a 1-3 by one point. So 1-3s give you 45 points, 2-2s give you 44. So so that's where he ended up. Uh, I guess he lost a couple points in the in the overall, but he's still he's still well out front. So no, uh, certainly not time to panic for uh, for him. Um, ahead of him, Josiah, like I mentioned, Sainatsky went 1 3, and Mitchell Harrison did the 3 1. So it's funny, man, those three guys seem to be separating themselves. I think you could throw Kevin Benoit's name in there too, but uh, he's kind of uh, beaten down a little bit now, a little uh, little sore, and obviously a little bit older. You uh, you don't you don't heal as fast. I'm way older, but uh, I, can, I can certainly vouch for that. Uh, where's the oh, there's the opening. Let's get over there. Where am I finding here? Okay, so that was the. That was the, the 250 class. Now we'll uh, we'll move on and talk. How you doing? Good, you? All right, we're kind of heading through here. Let's see what else. The place cleared out quickly. I normally have already done my uh, my mountain bike lap, but uh, because everybody started clearing out of here, I wanted to kind of get around as I was heading back to get my GoPro to get this started. Uh, people were all just driving by on their way out. So uh, I'm not sure who all's left here. So let's talk about the 450 class. There's lots of stuff stirring down here at the uh, PRMX Partzilla trailer. Let's head that way. So anyway, okay, 450, what are the stories we need to speak about? Uh, we talked about the Jeremy Mackay thing, 14 DNS. Uh, we talked about that. We don't need to talk any, you know, we need to keep talking about that. Uh, Logan Lights, I got a, ch a check mark beside his name because he just had so damn much fun out there and we spoke with him earlier. So uh, yeah, he kind of summed up that, that he was having fun. Uh, Michael De Silva, how about him? One of our full-time worker guys out there. He wants to come back, speaking of full-time, he wants to come back to full-time racing, spend a couple months down south next year. He thinks he's still got something to prove. Something, uh, something to show out there, so that'll be cool to see him if he can get out and uh, do that. Uh, Brett Young, we just talked to him, he's cracked at top 10. Uh, Andy Trutz and Parker Eels, I'm sure Parker had to catch a flight. He's gotta, he's gotta be at work tomorrow too, I'm sure. But uh, these guys, these full-time workers come in and uh, that's, that's pretty impressive these guys do that, right? So let's kind of have a look around here, see who's here, who I can bug. You know what, I'm gonna, let's bug Dylan Rample. We haven't bugged. Hey Dylan, can we bug ya? Let's go bug Dylan. I already mentioned earlier about that uh, you went out for the sight lap and unfortunately the bike stopped on you. So you didn't start that first motor, but uh, the second one you looked good. Good battle with a big group of guys. How'd it go? Oh uh, yeah, it was good. I just had some bad luck. My battery died on the sight lap, so I didn't get to race the first motor. Do you moto. leave the lights on? <laughs> I don't know. And then uh, second moto, I had last gate pick, so I got a terrible start. And then I came back to 10th, but it's pretty good. I should have made some passes earlier on, but it's all right. And yeah. Yeah, you're in, like I said, you're in that kind of that group kind of thing. And then you ended up, you know, guys kind of spaced out a little bit, but uh, you were in a good group. Did you like the track? How was it? Yeah, the track was sick. Uh, I liked it. It was, it had good dirt. It's, uh, yeah, it's good. All right, so you ended up 17th. You, uh, you've got more to prove, man. You looking forward to Deschambeau? Yeah, Deschambeau is one of my favorite tracks. It'll be sick and yeah, just having fun. Are you going to ride during the week? Yeah, I'm gonna ride there Wednesday and then somewhere in Quebec on Thursday and then race. All right. Yeah, I guess you're you're you can't ride you can and the thing or you, is that? Uh, I I don't know what that is. I think I can, but I'm I don't know if I'm gonna. Hey, how old are you now, Dylan? 
Uh, 15. It's only 15, folks, so that's pretty cool. All right, buddy, well, thanks for chatting with us. Yeah, thank you. See you, man. Good luck next week. Thank you. Yeah, it's tough luck for him, man, that uh, out there and all of a sudden the bike just stopped when I see Ryder McNabb. He already ran away from me earlier when he thought I was doing this, but I wasn't. So I'm going to go get him. Let's go get him. But anyway, in the uh, let's turn back over to the 450 class here. We'll kind of get this wrapped up as we get over to over to our number one rider here. But uh, talked about, yeah, he sees it. He sees me. I know. Here he is. Okay, rider 2-2 two, two, loses to a 3-1. One. 1-3. One, How'd it go today? That was pretty good. Um, track was pretty gnarly and it was good. Um, deep ruts. Uh, yeah, didn't get the start I wanted in the first one. Well, I talk, talk about that because I just—I was just talking about that. I, I heard you say you slid out, but I didn't hear the details and I didn't see it. Yeah, um, on the the first start, I uh, didn't get the jump I wanted, and then going into the first turn, it was really, really slick. So I slid out, lost a couple of positions, but it's all good. Did you actually hit the ground? No, I didn't hit the oh. ground, but uh, it was—it was pretty close. I almost fell over, but uh, yeah. Um, decent day 2-2 two, two for third kind of sucks but um yeah it was uh i guess we got to keep working and coming to this jambo well because here's the thing right it sounds silly because 2-2 two, two is all, all obviously quite good but the fact that um you know mitchell got around you and then actually a little bit of a gap what to uh, talk about that one. what uh, what were you doing out there was it uh, the track what was going on yeah i mean i was just struggling with the track a little bit uh yeah you was, said you weren't comfortable right yeah it just wasn't wasn't uh wasn't my race i guess if you will say that um but yeah, what can you do? I guess uh, you can't change anything while you're out there, so uh, just had to deal with it and uh, did what we could. All right, well, yeah, it's a 44 points to 45, so you didn't really do any damage. Uh, now, I know you're a fishing guy. Did you get any, do any deep sea stuff while you're out here? No, I haven't. I flew in on Friday and leave tomorrow morning, so I uh, don't get a chance to do any of that, but uh, maybe we'll go in Florida or something in the winter or something this year. All right, buddy, hey, thanks for ta talking with us. I know you're trying to get the heck out of here. We, uh, we grabbed you. Thanks, Ryder. Yeah. So yeah, like we mentioned there, the two twos. Oh, he's gone. He wasn't talking to anyone there. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna finish this up here as we walk through the back, uh, through the back here. See who we've confined here, leaning up against some of the stuff behind the KTM factory rig here. So, uh, oh, went back to the two fifties there. Sorry. And how about uh, so? I mentioned Tyler Gibbs. We talked about him when we were over there in his area. Uh, good day for him. Uh, seven seven, very solid. Julian Bennick, man, 6'6", six, six, man. Julian just keeps getting more and more solid, looking really good. Walk and talk. Doing the, well, hang on, we got... Walk and talk. Oops, I tell you that. <laughs> What's going on, Billy? <laughs> we did an interview with him, so you can see it on our Instagram, but uh, this guy here, there's only I, there's another guy who raced the yep. premix and the and 450 class. Yep. He, he uh, yeah, so uh, Vickers. Yep. But uh, quickly, we again, like I say, we, uh, we talked to you for the uh, Instagram video, but uh, your day went awesome. You looked really good out there. Uh, you looked better than you should have been a little better, but you went down, right? Yeah, I went 1-1 uh, pre-mix and then 6-9 in 250 class for sixth overall. Second moto had a pretty good crash uh, and then jammed my wrist and just kind of rode it into the end. But no, it was a good day. And it, was, uh, it was definitely solid, starting to feel a lot more comfortable on the bike. Nice. All right, so he's got to fly home, go to work all week. It's his birthday next Saturday, and then we're going to see him in Deschambeau. So uh, we'll see you there, buddy. Thank you very much. And you know what else? When you came off, your dad was so pumped. <laughs> and I had my stupid old camera, so I couldn't switch over to photos quick enough. So I missed it. But dude, you should have seen the look on your uh, face. No, I'm, I'm proud of him for sure. Oh, let's get it. Let's, yeah. let's just leave it like this until yeah. we get tears. Uh, oh, close. I'm a crier, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Congrats on a good day. <laughs> All right, see ya. Oh, that's funny. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, he had, uh, he had a great day, and his dad, just, the look on his face was just amazing, so that's cool to see. Uh, Daniel Elmore, 5'5", five, five for, uh, guess what, fifth? He, uh, he said he, was, he just worked his butt off, and I want to get this guy over here. He's, he's trying to go catch a plane, but we're going to get him. You probably are too, Kevin, but uh, we saw you. Look at this guy. I'm, I'm, he's trying to get away from me. Yeah, I'm running away. Come on, look. He's, shut my car off, all right? He's, he's going to catch a flight. Let me shut my, no, I'm staying the night. Oh, he's staying the, he's staying the night? What, he's taking a Monday off? Yeah, man. We got Parker. He goes, we talked to Andy Trutes. And he said he feels like he should be way ahead of you. Oh, I'm gonna just start a fight oh, here. No. No. He mentioned that uh, he shouldn't be back there battling with Parker. I'm just trying to start crap here. Parker, no, it looked good. You and Andy had that great battle, man. Talk about your day here at Riverlake. Yeah, today was really good. Uh, I've been struggling the last couple of weeks pretty much with just not recovering between the races. I've been so tired on Sundays, but this week I didn't, I did nothing at all. Came here on Friday and yeah, today was a lot better. Had some good battles all day. Uh, 
felt good to be kind of in that top eight. Uh, me and Andy went at it. I mean, not really went at it. I just followed him basically for 30 plus two. You look but... like you should have gone at it. You got so, so close. Yeah, I thought I had a flat, so I was like trying to be a little cautious, but then I kind of figured out I didn't. I was like, I'm going to push as hard as I can. And we got pretty close at the end, but uh, couldn't make it happen. But still, all in all, it was a good day. All right, so he's one of our guys that we talk about. Goes to work full time, flies out in and out of the races. Man, awesome. What you got there? Uh, you got an 8 9 for 8th place for Parker Eels, buddy. So, what are you going to do? You got an early flight tomorrow? What are you doing? Yeah, super early flight tomorrow. Might uh, head to work in the afternoon and then. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, time change, maybe. Yeah, time change. I landed like 8 30 a.m., so oh. not too bad. And then, uh, yeah, fly back out on Friday afternoon to Deschambeau and do it all over again. Oh, man, all right. Thanks, Parker. Good talking with you. And, uh, man, safe travels tomorrow and have fun at work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> man, how, how good is that? He's one of the one of the good stories in our sport, right? And he's he's also a lot younger than he looks. I believe he's 23 or 24. So uh, he's also like six foot four. So he was, he was, it was the big man battle out there with uh, him and Andy Trutz going at it. Uh, like we talked to Sean Moffenbar, 4-4. Good for him to come back after, his, uh, after getting that concussion and everything. Uh, Jess Pettis wasn't thrilled. He says, you know, Sometimes you uh, don't have it and he didn't think he had it today. He ended up 3-3, uh, but he kind of lost touch with the guys up front So he wasn't happy, but I mean obviously he still was flying out there had everybody else covered But uh, he wants to be battled in with the, with the guys up front for win. So he 3-3 uh, Tyler Medallia Now local boy. Uh, we talked to him also did an interview with him and Jeremy his younger brother Jeremy Medallia got married yesterday So they were at a wedding over there in uh, at a wedding and then they uh, were you at the wedding yesterday? No wedding for me. Mm -hmm. I wasn't invited. <laughs> hey, neither was I. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> yeah, so Jeremy Medallia, congratulations, you guys. You got married. And then, uh, so Tyler was there, behaved himself, came back here and raced for uh, second place, 2-2. And led, man, led for a long time out there. Kept uh, kept it Dylan right behind him, man, so that was good for him. Uh, Dylan Wright, what can you say? 1-1, one, one, world-class talent out there, man. So good for him. That is going to wrap it up here, I think. Uh, this one went a little long. That's, it's okay, though, I hope. If you're, uh, if you're at home and you're not at the races, it's always kind of nice to see uh, kind of what's going on, right? If you weren't here, you'll say, okay, well, let's, you know, how did everything go? So uh, I can say this, it went amazingly here. It always does. Uh, this is always one of the best weekends of the year. Solid turnout. I think they had 400 entries yesterday at their amateur day. And then uh, today, obviously, a uh, great crowd here and everything. Weather turned out perfectly, as you can see. Uh, started out cloudy, but they kept the uh, stuff in check, the uh, the dust and everything in check. So another solid day here. I want to thank uh, Race Tech Suspension for uh, getting behind us here at the old Big Waves Walk and Talk. That's going to do it, man. Then we're going to uh, we're going to kind of cruise around the Maritimes here for a few days, make our way to the E Can at Deschambeau, and man, we're going to do it all again. We're going to have some Eastern Eastern Amateur Championships. See you guys. And then uh, and then it's round seven, man. We've only got two more rounds left. It's kind of hard to believe. Summer's fly by, but. Uh, Thanks for watching, and yeah, we'll do it all again next week. Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking!